I don't know if you can see any of them, but there's baby crickets in there. This is my cricket breeding setup now. This tank down here is a 10 gallon tank. I have a, a Fluker's gel liquid, a soap towel, and a food back there. And in the tank I just have a coconut sheddings for the substrate. And there's a heater underneath the tank keeping it warm. Uh, currently I got baby crickets in here, uh, pinhead size, they just were hatched. Uh, my hatching chamber is this tank, and uh, with this tank what I'm going to do actually, it's my new hatching chamber, I haven't had this one used before, my old one is different, but um, I put the heater that I had on my hatching chamber onto uh, this 10 gallon tank to keep the baby crickets warm. So uh, I needed to come up with a new idea to heat this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the adult crickets in. I got two Tupperware containers, one with uh, frog moss and one with uh, coconut sheddings. That's what I'm going to use for uh, them to lay their eggs in. I simply use two different types of uh, substrate to see which one works better. Uh, I've used the coconut before and it seems to work fine, uh, but I wanted to just try the moss. I used a towel in the center. Uh, to go up and down like that so it gives the adult crickets something to climb up and down to get into the to the breeding and uh, laying Tupperwares in there and then I got food and water in the middle so I'm going to throw the adult crickets in leave them in here for a couple days and to keep it warm uh, at a temperature that they like to breed at I'd simply put the cage on top of this light during the day this light it's not super hot but it keeps the tank about 10 degrees hotter than the regular air temperature so like 80 degrees or so so it keeps it at a good temperature for breeding and then once the adult crickets lay the eggs after a day or two I'll take them out and I'll leave the Tupperware containers in but I'll take out the food and the towel and what I'm actually going to do is then fill this tank with water about halfway up the Tupperwares and then I have this mini aquarium heater it's just a heater I had sitting around it's a small heater for small fish tank bowls and for really small tanks so what I'm going to do is instead of using it it's actually you can use it dry too but I figured it would be better to uh, fill this bigger tank with uh, water just a couple inches leave these two containers in there and then put the heater in the water and then it will he heat the water and it will heat up the uh, substrate that the eggs are in and incubate them so uh, that's how I'm going to try to do my next batch I'll uh, take updates and let you guys know how it works and then my plan is uh, once the pinheads start developing in here once they start hatching simply take out these Tupperwares dump them into this tank where they'll grow up and then I'll feed them to my lizards and then I'll start the process over again